Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we are playing Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance, continuing where we left off on the last video, uh, which is the country of the Musketeers. This time I will be playing as Riku, uh, getting his story over with. Unfortunately, I couldn't do Riku last time just because uh, we had kind of a time constriction going on, and we had to fight Sora's last boss three times, which was incredibly annoying. Um, like I was saying in the last video, you know, you really shouldn't make gamers, like, adjust to such a weird game mechanic like that like i i definitely still to this very day do not like the drop system it's it's just kind of annoying uh if anything let's go ahead move down here slow down and then should be able there we go nice okay one down one to go uh the only reason i really remember how this fight works is because we've had to do it before actually um I believe that that time we were also playing as Riku. I think this should be it. I think this actually finishes it off. Nice! Easy! Easy boss battle. Or not. Oh gosh, this is Kingdom Hearts 2 all over again. I have a feeling this is where my opportunity is going to arise. Okay. Ah, oh, gosh. Okay, that was it for a second there. Let's see. We got to gotta figure this out. I just got to time it so that I pass, like, right through the lasers, right in the middle. Okay, maybe it wants me to slow down here again. What does it want us to do there? Does it want us to hit the meteors? Is that what we're supposed to do? To avoid the super laser, take cover behind the rocks. Right, that's how it works. Sorry about that. I'm still, like, trying to uh, remember how this game works, you know? It's, it's, again, one of the Kingdom Hearts games I've only played, like, once or twice. Actually, I'm pretty sure it was two times. Two times on the DS, because you only got two save files. Okay, we got this. Second time's a charm. It's kind of weird that they call this a laser, because it does not look like a laser at all. Okay. One eye down, one more to go. I... What do you even call that? They're like not even part of the eyes. Oh geez, that was close. Whew. All right, we're good. Nice, okay. So we got the first part down. Here comes part two. Okay, so hide behind the meteors when they come. Not this part, though. Uh, so let's see, where are these meteors at? Ah, I see. Okay, I see, I see. Oh, that might have screwed me right there, missing that. Ah, jeez, okay. I think that might have screwed me for the A. Okay, so now we've got the uh, blade attack coming. And then we have Mega Flare coming up here. Okay. I wish I kind of had like my ultimate attack right now, because that'd be really helpful for finishing this off quickly. Oh, okay. We need one more. I really should have probably hit the two that are, like, right next to each other, rather than, uh... 
Like, hitting the ones that were, like, diagonal from each other. I don't think these... Okay, I think this time the lasers don't really follow a pattern. They're just kind of randomly spinning out here. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to move. There we go. Ah, wow. Okay, right at the end. All right, and then it's going to do the Mega Flare. Where are our rocks? Here we go. Ooh, jeez. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if we could finish this off. Nice. Okay, we're done. Only took two turns. Not bad. I wonder what's uh, what's like required for the for the A. Like, is it like you're supposed to get it done in like three minutes? Nice. Okay. Okay. We got it. Zero Graviga. Okay. Graviga. Very perceptive, Riku. Unlike Sora. Okay. Um, let's make sure... So in terms of spirits... Because I don't want to keep the same spirits out if I've already uh, maxed their entire board. Uh, but it looks like we haven't gotten that quite yet. Uh, let's go ahead and get our attack haste. Because attack haste... Uh, oh, jeez, we're one off. Uh, attack haste increases the rate at which attack commands come back to you. So it, it like increases their... Their, uh, the command's re regeneration time. Oh, we could totally up this one. Okay, so let's go here. And, and I think that's it, actually. Uh, so let's go back. Okay, here we go. You know, it, it hit me when I was, uh, watching the recordings that actually, the way I have it set up right now, the game isn't recording in 60 FPS. And that's because I forgot why I did that. I think it was to uh, increase the the quality of the video. It was something like that. Uh, but hopefully I can get, you know, better internet soon. I think it was for stream purpose, actually. Like, back, like, way back when I tried to do more streaming. And I was trying to figure out, um, you know, what settings were better. And I think, like, OBS was like, oh, yeah, slow down the, the video rate. Um, do all these things here. So maybe... Maybe when I get, like, a better computer or something, I'll have, uh, you know, better settings so that you guys are watching this in, like, 60 FPS, which would be amazing. I'm kind of waiting until I get a dark roll. Okay, so one of these two is fake. Let's go on the right. Oh, that was a mistake! That was a mistake! It's okay. We got it. We can take this guy out. Uh, I'm waiting for Dark Roll because Dark Roll is where you pretty much become literally like a little tiny ball of darkness. Um, and then it's like you become invincible for a bit. Like this one's a little bit clunky. What are we fighting against? We're fighting against a lion and a almost hair across. If I remember, though, the lion was definitely one of my favorite uh, spirits to have. Oh, can't use commands. Man, I've been hexed. Like, pretty badly if it hasn't come back yet. Oh, jeez. Okay. I gotta, I gotta be a little bit more careful. Dang, sorry about that. I saw it coming. I was just like, oh no, it's coming. And then it killed me. Nuts. Okay, let's see how far back we start from. Uh, so that chest is still closed, so we gotta like do it all over again. Dang. Oh man, what does that put me at right now? I think I've died like six times in this game already. Jeez, that's pretty bad. 
I definitely want to say uh, enemies in here are sort of more deadly than they have been in past games. Like, flow motion definitely helps, for sure, and it makes you, like, ridiculously powerful. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still dying here, so that's, that's a sign that maybe it's not, like, super easy. And the times I've died, like, they were kind of, like, how does that even happen? Like, what did I even do? Maybe it's stuff like I haven't changed my Keyblade, so it's taking like a lot longer to kill enemies and stuff. Okay. You know what? We're gonna open this chest even though we know what's in it. Just so we can beat it up. Alright. Now let's go back and reface that lion. Lion, right? Yeah. I was like, is it a lion? Is it a tiger? I'm pretty sure it was a lion, though. Okay. Here we are. Round two. Oh, I got hexed. You know what? Screw this. Let's, let's go ahead and use a command style. Because they can't nerf command styles like that. This is so cool looking, by the way. Like, just this, this like, super dark aura Riku's got going on. He's, like, doing all these acrobatic skills and stuff. Alright, I think now that I took care of the, uh, the enemy that casted... That casted the, uh, the curse on me, I think that means I'm good again. So I am able to use commands and just run through these guys. Nice. I totally forgot there was there was two of these guys. Okay, you know what? Let's actually change our keyblade. Just cause it's it's taken a while. Like I feel like with the higher keyblades it would take or like the higher strength keyblades, it would take a lot less time to burn through all these guys. Okay, there's my three flow motions. Let's go ahead and cast Balloon Raw, because it's OP. Ah! Oh, can't hit it in that stage. There we go. Yeah, after this I'm gonna I'm gonna change keyblades and see what we can do. Just cause I like I like the the art of Weighted Dawn and Kingdom Key, but it's just like, oh my gosh, the times to beat some of these guys. Like it really shouldn't be taking this long to kill a Lopany here. Oh, it canceled my balloon. Oh, shoot. Whoop. Okay, we're good. We need to start getting a Cura. Cura is just not, it's not doing the job. Okay. That's really good. That's like a solid defense right here. Let's see. Let's try this. Or let's not try that. Oh gosh. Why is this so bad for me right now? Like, why am I doing so awfully? It's like I'm making all these, like, rookie mistakes and stuff. Do we have to... Oh, third time. Third time. Okay. Maybe this is karma coming back at me for, uh... For us, like, attacking that ghost twice.
Am I frozen? No, I'm not. Come on, let me use a command style. There we go. That was pretty cool how it like tracked him right there. Oh, okay, it broke apart. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Nice, okay. So let's go ahead and collect our chest here. Take this guy out. Okay. Oh, shoot, I got it. Okay, there it is. Alright, so let's go ahead and change things up. Uh, let's... Items, here we go. Let's switch it to our knockout punch. So we've doubled our strength and doubled our magic. So, I mean, I'm kind of willing to bet this is gonna, you know, do a lot of work for us. I've just done so many Kingdom Hearts runs where, um... I didn't need to change the uh, the default Keyblade, uh, but for purposes of, you know, like, getting it done, let's go ahead and just do that. Yeah, I'm like going through these guys' HP so much faster now. Although I have done runs. I have done, like, Kingdom Key runs. Um, like, without changing weapon runs, just because it's, it makes the game way harder when you don't change your Keyblades. Like, way harder, like, stupidly harder sometimes, uh, because some Keyblades have, like, higher stun rates. Like, uh, for example, in Kingdom Hearts 1, one of the main, one of the main strategies for fighting Dark Riku, um, was to stun him with, uh, your Keyblade pretty much so that you can get more hits in. But when you use a kingdom key, its stun is so low that, like, I barely stunned him, if at all. See, look at that. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like I'm so strong that I almost... What, uh, what didn't even get close to beating them last time is, like, now just running through them. I guess I just have to let go of my stubborn tendencies. Oh, jeez. Okay. Oh, and it upped my defense, too. So it's like, not only am I now stronger, I can also take more hits now. But just wait. Karma's gonna come back at me. Karma's gonna come back at me and just kill me anyways. One more to go. Oh gosh, this this lamppost. Who? Okay. Just nudge him. Where's what? Oh, there's more. Okay, that's fine. And these are the annoying guys too. The guys that can cast balloon. There we go. Let's do this one. I think we're about to get separated. Wow, they really let you get through your entire combo before they break you right there. I think this one's the best one out of all of them. I feel like it hits... It, it probably doesn't, but I feel like it, like, hits for more area and does more damage. 
Nice. Okay, we're done. Woo! I'm just really stoked for Counterpoint. Like, again, it's like my favorite Keyblade. It makes music every time it hits something. Super excited to get that. That's in the next world after this one. Right, let's go ahead, collect our chest on this end. And then right when we get to the front, there's going to be like 900 enemies that spawn. Definitely got to take out this lion though, because it can cause the most amount of problems. Oh, jeez, that was close. Oh, okay, I was trying to reality shift that one. Uh, let's do the sheen. Get back here. It literally just ran into the balloon. See, that's why I just love balloon in this game so much. It's like just so strong. It made doing a uh, way to dawn run only like a little bit easier just having balloon. Nice. Okay. I think that wraps it up outside for us. Um, I don't believe that's an entrance at the front there. It's not, but we have a side entrance. Let's see if the game allows us to go through the side entrance. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go through the main entrance. Alright, let's see. Any new commands? Pandara. Still no balloon. Um, we have that already. Any new... Nah, no new recipes. Okay, you know what? While we're doing this, let's go ahead and update Riku's command deck a little bit. Uh, so what do we got? Let's do Aerial Slam, because that one's pretty good. Uh, Time Storm, I can imagine, being really good, being really useful. Ooh, we have Kiraga now, okay. Kiraga, whatever people want to call it. I call it Kiraga. Okay, um, I think we should be good. What are you? I have a feeling it's just going to let us borrow spirits. No, take damage no more than two times. Okay, let's see if we can whip this out. We messed this up as Sora, uh, but now that, you know, we're not, like, scrubbing out and just using, you know, the kingdom key and the way to dawn, maybe it'll be a bit, a bit easier as, as I get hit. Come after me. There we go. What is that thing? Why is it glowing? Oh. It's a, it's the laser beam fish. Where's the next one? Whoo, that was close. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Whew. I totally almost fell into that one. Okay, where's that last one? There we go. See, it wasn't nearly as bad. Now that we've updated our Keyblade, that wasn't nearly as bad. Easy. Okay. Let's move on. Ah, uh, so we gotta grab this chest here. No, I didn't mean to touch the wall like that. Okay. Okay. There's gonna be something, yeah, right in the middle here. Oh, it's this freaking laser circus giraffe. Let's go with Donald. Oh, nuts. I kind of had a feeling it was going to hit the wall like that, but I, it, it was just one of those moments where you tell yourself, you know what? I'm going to do it anyways, and it didn't work out. 
Oh my gosh, things are moving so much faster with the new Keyblade. Right, let's head downstairs. Oh, this is so troll. This is so troll. Get in there. Okay, that's fine. Let's take care of these guys downstairs first. Oh, jeez. Where did you come from? Where did both of these guys come from? Where's the... Where's the bunny? There's a bunny here. There it is. Bam! Alright, let's get out of here. Let's... I believe there's nothing upstairs uh, that we have to worry about just yet. So let's go ahead and just, you know, go make our way up. And then find any treasure chests that we can. There's one here. Let's see if we can find the rest. Okay, so there's... I feel like there's another one up here that I'm just missing. Oh, there it is. And I think... Uh, no enemies? Okay. Let's head down. Oh, jeez. Come after me. Alright, uh... This is such a troll chest, though. Like, it's really bothering me that it's like, Riku, come on. You just gotta, you gotta lean, you gotta jump, you gotta do something to get in there. Okay. So we're still on the hunt for Pete right now. I guess we found him. What's all this for? Is that supposed to be Nikki and the others? Yeesh. Those three are together even when they're made out of wood. <laughs> Pete. Uh, so if you guys remember from Sora's part, that was actually uh, one of the things is that there was a crate above them that was stopped. Like, it just randomly just disappeared. And that that's kind of what that scene was referencing. Let me actually lower the camera because I feel like it's getting this awesome screen of my chin and then my ceiling. Oh gosh, it's the it's the chef frogs. I wonder if they took out the mechanic where it did all of them, uh, because maybe it was just people thought it might have been just too powerful to get all of them in a row. I don't know, because uh, in the original Dream Drop distance, it you normally activated like all three of them, like you did all three of those panels in a row versus. Uh, one by one. 
and it would activate all of them when you got to the end of it. I don't know if people just thought that was too OP, like how I'm getting chased by lions and stuff right now. Uh, but I, I never thought it was too OP. I mean, the point of the game was to have like the mechanics do a lot of the work, in my opinion. And then there are other mechanics like the drop or the drop mechanic that's just oh, it just feels like tomfoolery. Where are all these lions coming from? They are literally coming out of the ground. Oh, I kind of wish he ran into one of the balloons. There we go. Okay. I believe they'd make one. Yeah. You're going to have a feeling where they're going to put chess after you, like, played enough RPGs. Uh, 20 seconds or less. We'll do that later. Because I believe there's a trophy for completing all the link portals. Uh, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. This is my first time playing it on the PS2, so... Or, uh, on the PS2. Um, on the PS4. I definitely like this, though. Like, I feel like there's a lot of detail that went to this right here. Can I jump on these? <laughs> Alright, what do you got? Friend portal? Nah, we're good. We're good. Huh? Is someone... He couldn't just conventionally open that. <laughs> Where are you going? Where are you going? I have to, I have to help the musketeers. What happened? What happened? Tell me what I can do. Tell me what I can do. Who are you? Who are you? Riku. Riku. Riku's my friend. Mickey's my friend. Oh, Riku. Oh, Riku. The stage has been rigged with a machine to lure Mickey and the others into a terrible trap. If we could only find something to control the device from here. I remembered. Look what I nearly forgot. Eh? Why is the box Tom's mouth? Hey boy, quit messing around. The boss is losing his patience. There it is. There it is. That's the gadget we need to retrieve. I'm on it. I like how it does, like, Mickey doesn't ask who the musketeers are and stuff. Another stooge to take the stage. All you gotta do is keep your royal mouth nice and shut. A double? Mickey and the Musketeers will stop you. Oh, never you fear, Princess. Those chowderheads will be out of the picture real soon. So, how are we looking, boys? I okay, boss. Let's run, son. We flatten them like crazy. Good. Now. You must hold on to that thing no matter what. If it you don't mind, Your Highness, we have a seat reservated for you backstage. <laughs> it's gonna be curtain soon. <laughs> curtain. I love it. Oh, it's it's the poison machine from um, the city of bells. Oh, geez, why do I start off in the poison?
Okay. Ah! Oh, whoa! Things got weird right there. What are you? Come back! I guess it won't let us do that until we uh, finish a certain amount. There we go. I think that clears it up. So now this should work? No? Is it waiting for us to like complete this part of the story? Oh, what? You're supposed to slide up this. I totally thought that- okay. I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be something you can slide up. Can you even slide down it? No? Okay. That's fine. I'm pretty sure, though, the first time I played this, you were supposed to be able to slide up and down that, that railing. My gosh, I'm going through this so much faster just because I'm so much more powerful. I really need to uh, read up on Dream Drop Distance more, just because I feel like, again, it's just one of the games I didn't get to play as much, um, so I don't really remember it 100%. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you were, you were able to slide on these. I think that's kind of funny because it's like, come on, Riki, you couldn't, you couldn't move through a sheet. Dang, zero gravity works on these guys. Oh, that's nuts. That's nuts because that makes it just that much easier to hit them with confuse. Oh, what the heck is hitting me? Ah, oh, there's other dream eaters. Okay, let's go ahead and take care of those guys real quick. Ah, hate that laser beam. No, oh, well, oh gosh. Ah, oh, we're frozen. Oh boy. Oh boy, get out of here, Riku. Alright, let's let's get our let's get our OP magic spell up in the air. Oh no, I did not want to do cure, I wanted to do balloon. Where's balloon? Are you still going to come after me, even though you know that there's no way this is going to work? Ah, okay. That was my bad. That was, that was just blatantly my bad. <laughs> come after me. I dare ya. See, these are the moments where it's like I'm pretty sure Karma's going to come after me for saying stuff like that. Dude, they can even be hit with sleep? That's crazy. Oh, oh, wait, now I can... Okay, I see, I see. Okay, now I can slide up these guys. Okay, that makes more sense. Sort of. <laughs> so this was the chest. Oh, let's see. It's kind of weird that they had that be there, just because um, just because you could flow motion your whole way around. Let's go up here. And then there was like this flimsy. Oh wait, no, I got it already. It was this thing right here. Did I get what was in here? Oh no, I didn't. There it is. Blazaga. Okay. Yo, let me know in the comments what you guys say. Do you guys say, like, Blizzaga, Blizzaga? Ugh. Rage hit. Um, let's, let's go this way first. Let's hit up the lobby. Because I think this is where the treasure chest was, the one that we saw earlier. Hey, there it is. Shadow Breaker. Wait, why does that sound familiar? Assailed two enemies with two spin attacks in a row. Ah! One of darkness, one of light. I think I use this command a lot. 
Um, I don't use it nearly as much as, you, as I use Balloon, but I'm pretty sure that's one of the big ones that I used in the 3DS version. Let's go ahead and have our uh, Aerial Slam is really good. I didn't really like Collision Magnet, because if I remember correctly, when you're like... it's First of all, it's really slow. Like You kind of stand in place as a magnet draws all the enemies in. Um, but I don't remember it being particularly strong. I Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Sorry, we used it as Sora, even. My bad. Uh, it's the one where you kind of rope the enemy in, and then you, like, swing it towards another enemy. Yeah, I, I don't like that one. That one's not very good. It might make you invincible temporarily, but it's like, ah, gosh, there's so much more you could be doing. You know what? I probably should have thought of this from the beginning. I'm just gonna use Drop Me Knots right before we get dropped. Like right here, like we've got a bar of one left. Let's go ahead and switch our command deck. Uh, we'll just switch one of these. How many Drop Me Knots do we got? Okay. We just do that. I don't know why I haven't been doing that this whole time. Like, what am I doing? <laughs> and then we can switch it back. Because it, when you're not in battle, it automatically regenerates it, uh, the number of items. So as you saw there, we can hold a maximum of two items for that particular item. Like a quantity of two for that particular item. Um, and then it regenerates whenever you're not in battle. So I don't know why I haven't just been doing that the whole time. That could have saved me so much stress. Especially like with the last, the last boss. Good grief. It dropped me, and then the second time, like, the boss actually killed me because when I... Oh, gosh, it's it's a whole mess of stuff, guys. It was just a whole mess. Go ahead, just check out the last part of the Sora video to figure out what I mean. But it was... Oh, so annoying. I hate the freaking drop bar. Let's go ahead and link up. Let's save first, though. I like saving. Saving is a smart idea. There was a time, I forgot when, I think it was when I was a kid, and, like, I could play games for, like, hours upon hours. We're talking, like, 10-hour intervals, because it's like, what do I have to worry about? Like, homework? Or just other random miscellaneous stuff? It's like, nah, like, that. that's all easy. Um, grade school. Sorry, let me be specific. Grade school. Uh... High school and college, a bit different. But, man, I could play games for hours. And then there was one time I forgot to save. And it was like, boom, the whole day's worth of work. Just gone. Okay, now that we're done with that headache, let's go ahead and move up top. I believe one of them's in here. Like, they're they're literally running around. If I remember this one, this one's the most annoying one because the area is so big. But they're literally running around in, like, a circle. And it's like, you're playing pretty much, like, tag. Where are you? Like, they'll go through the doors and stuff. And it's like, oh, gosh, why is this happening? So we got three lines to take care of now, huh? Oh, wait, where'd he go? I heard him. I heard him in his, like, weird accent. Do we got the sheen? We got the sheen? We got the sheen. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this guy. Let's try the Shadow Breaker. Oh, gosh, it canceled me. Where's the... I gotta take care of that lion. Because I always like taking care of enemies that, uh, like, have projectile moves. Is he just gonna... Is he looped? Is he stuck in a loop? Oh, gosh. I guess the loop fails when, uh... <laughs> when I get hit by something else. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, other, other things that can interfere with you are so annoying. 
Let's take this lion out. Come on. Yeah, balloon getting them. Okay, one more to go. That wasn't nearly as hard as I remember that being. I just remember in the uh, the DS version, it was so incredibly annoying. Again, it might have been because I was playing with pretty much just the way to dawn and the kingdom key. Uh, which I'll admit is my bad. They couldn't have gone this way. Now, wh why not Riku? Why could they have not gone that way? <laughs> That's another thing that I've always found like kind of quirky about Kingdom Hearts. Uh, not something I've liked really is that they'd be like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, ow, really? You're going to come out of the closet like that? I wonder if I could just loop him. I think that was another thing I liked about uh, the first Kingdom Hearts is that you can parry. Like your regular your regular attacks had the uh, capacity to like parry. But I think in this one you just have to straight up block it, otherwise it like goes through. Yeah, okay. But yeah, I liked the parry back in the day. It was super useful. I had a, I feel like I was better at parrying than I was at actual like blocking. So troll. We're getting trolled by a dream eater right now. I like how sassy Riku is. Like, he's a 17 year old boy and he's just like, just super sassy. The holy moly. <laughs> I believe that's the boss fight for this, uh, this stage too. There it is. Oh, wow. That hurt. Where's my balloon, Ra? Where are you going to show up next? Just its arms? I'm not going to lie, I forgot how this worked. Like this particular boss. But I'm pretty sure Balloon is going to come in handy here. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, okay. Where'd it go? Oh no, the carrots are coming after me. Do moles eat carrots? Is that what they eat? Is that why I'm getting attacked by carrots right now? Ah! Where'd he go? Ah! Okay. Alright, we're gonna finish you off with the balloon, Ra. Love balloon, so good. Unfortunately, we didn't get all the chests in this area. There was a bunch of chests that we ran by that uh, we just didn't get. Shadow slide. I think this is the one where, like, you can shadow slide to warp behind. Yes, yes, shadow slide is the block. And then shadow strike is what you do with it. Okay, okay. I remember this.
How do you like that? Huh? Impossible. Looks like I was right in the nick of time. Sora? Uh, hmm? They're safe. Oh, thank goodness. You truly saved the day, Yuko. I see you're as brave as a royal musketeer. Musketeer? What is that anyway? Huh? They... They actually say that? Of course. Every musketeer is taught those words. It's a very important motto in solemn pledge. <laughs> You're right. And it does fit the moment. <laughs> all for one, and one for all. Nice, we did it. That was way shorter than Sora's. Either that or I was like really strong. And uh, that really helped being able to just run through the stage really quickly. I sensed something was amiss nearly the moment Sora and Riku departed. Xehanort must have known what we were attempting before we even began. But you do know where they are. You must understand, you must understand that this examination is in no way how the mark of mastery is usually found. However, in light of what they must do next, it was a necessity. If Sora and Riku complete their test by finding the seven doors corresponding to the seven pure lights, they will return home with a new power. At that point, they will both True masters. However, dangers make this more trials than tests. But are they safe right now? Considering their, Considering their ability, I would like to believe that they are. However, all my attempts to locate Sora and Riku end questionably. Xehanort is a devious tactician. There is nothing we can do that he will not some extent be able to predict so as you can see the organization's members are complete people again they are not will be no different we cannot afford another moment's hesitation we must consider any strategy to outwit they and catch him off guard warn you again the road will not be easy fine let's jump right in i like how it's like sora believing sora and Riku are fine and i've died like six seven times already oops <laughs> all right so that finishes up riku's story that was a lot faster than i was expecting it to be um I forgot that all he does is like get the gear back is, is the entirety of his story whereas Sora just had like a really really long one uh, but anyways that's Riku's part of the country of the musketeers I'm gonna go ahead and keep going for today so if you see me wearing the same shirt in the next one it's because I'm playing on the same day um, and then let's hope we can get through the symphony of sorcery and after that I think it's just the last the last stage after that one Let's go ahead and pet our pets. Our spirits. Yes, spirits. <laughs> it's kind of weird how, like, the game gives you the option to, uh, to, like, you know, pat them. Like, like this thingy. This little, like, rubby pat kind of thing. And then it gives you the option to poke them. Like, I've never met an animal in this life where they like being like poked so if you guys know of any animals that like being poked like throw it in the comments i'm kind of curious i kind of want to like read up on which animals like literally like being like jabbed at <laughs> oh 
I think that's all the points I need for the bat. We literally started Riku's section with the bat. Uh, yeah, the bat. Let's try and get some link points here. Yeah! Ah, what? See, okay, I could see why something like this would like being poked versus like petted because it's like prickly But I still don't think there are any real animals that like being poked I'm fairly I'm fairly confident on animals not liking being poked All right, I think so we also started the game with this one too This one's a new one that I got just the other time Ah, what? You don't like being poked? Do you like being petted? You can evolve? <laughs> I'm just kidding. These things don't evolve. Just a, a tip for anyone who plans on playing this game, you can actually, it's a lot easier to get abilities by just recreating the spirits that have them and just leveling them up twice. Like, that's just one of the fastest ways to definitely get all your abilities on lock, versus what I'm doing is where I, I don't plan on making any, like, duplicates. And I just want to, you know, make as many spirits as I can and get all the, uh, the points that way. Also, if anyone is wondering what's going on with my arm, so when you have the controller, you can pet them by just rubbing the the little, like, touchpad thingy right here. And that's what's going on. I'm not, like, freaking out with my right arm. Okay, let's go ahead and check our ability links, and then we will drop to Sora. No, it's still not enough. After all that, it's still not enough. Huh. Okay. Let's see, what are you? Attack boost... Zero Gravira. Let's go attack boost. Let's go attack haste. And then let's go attack haste again. That way we get all our attack commands going. Alright, for you, we have to unlock that. And this. What are you? Fire screen. I don't know if we need any more fire screens. All right, so what are you? Uh, circle raid, poison block, attack haste, HP boost. Let's do HP boost. Okay. Now for our mini dragon. I think, is that all we can do, really? Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's fine. What's the final thing it gives us? Blizzaga. Okay, that's fine. Okay, sorry you guys uh, saw saw me like petting my pets. I know I said in the first video that I wouldn't be doing that, but it was, it just, I don't know, it seemed like a fun thing to do and I kind of lost track of the fact that I was actually recording. Uh, but with that being said, this is Riku's story. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to throw them in the comments below and I will try my best to answer them. But until the next video, everyone, take it easy.